a, pulse, a piece called Tree Team. It's a polka with three sequences. So if you watch, you'll see three different sequences in the game. Tree Team, which is Swedish for three things. You're okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm took over your space here. Shottish. It's called Olan Shottish after an island, a group of islands between Sweden and Finland, which we are really actually hoping we get to see on our trip to Sweden next summer. Our next dance is another one that's named after the province from which it orim, uh, originates. It's a Polska, so from Jampland, so it's called Jamp Polska.
Wonderful, wonderful. I have a quick announcement again. If someone is missing a cell phone, I have it up here. I should have won. Everybody I thought somebody was inside bouncing it, but I don't it's the big spring. <laughs> Four big springs from each corner. Um, this is a Samsung Galaxy 6. It's up there. You should, you should yell. Okay, our next dance is called Crested Hen. This dance has a group of two girls and one boy each and features a skipping step. The girls try to get the hat off the boy's head, and whichever girl gets the hat gets the boy. Okay, well, when she, uh, does she have your phone number? to anyone that boys and men like to challenge each other once in a while. And since medieval times, it's been common to put items out in the shape of a cross and dance over them without touching the items with your feet. It could be straw, rakes, pitchforks, or even swords, such as our group uses. The first boy you're, you're will okay. start. The others in the group will join in as they become interested. The music will get faster. We're going to really bring it today on that go too. Um, and it becomes more difficult to keep from touching the swords with their feet. Sword dance.
will give those young men a rest with bomb dance, which is a very pretty all-girl dance. This dance also has its origins in Oland, a region of islands in the Baltic Sea, just like the dance earlier. for upperclassmen in an all-male college. This college was in the capital of Vermland, and Vermland is of course significant to us here in Lindsborg because that is a province that many of the founders of our town came from. So we have Skylar and Alan performing oxen dance. I don't want to mess up your camera. You're okay. You can say hi to, it's for Emily. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's for Emily.
One more quick announcement, please. We've had a good response to uh, people moving their cars at the co-op, but we have a few more cars. Janet Wade, Dwayne Rogers, Christine and Ronald Johnson, Union State Bank, Ark City, Mark Lattimore, Jeffrey Lameau or Kathleen Lameau. We appreciate you helping these farmers get their fall crops in by moving your vehicles. Also, there's one car parked by a handicapped spot where a gentleman is unable to get into his vehicle. And it's a black Nissan Murano. Jessica Weller, if you would be able to move that <laughs> car so he could access this car, that would be great. Thank you. We are so privileged to have Charlotte Anderson in our community who often gives us help and, and suggestions for our Swedish dancing. And in fact, she put this, combined these two dances together to come up with Lindsborg and Gelska. is one of our very favorite dances. In English, it is called Little Man in a Fix. And you'll notice throughout the dance there is one man who has a kind of a little problem on his hands. So along with that, you can watch for some interesting weaving as well as some waltzing and then some a nice surprise. It's, like I said, one of our most popular and one that we really enjoy to perform. To go. Little Man in a Fix.
I mentioned earlier that we have another shaw dish in our program, and that's come up right now. We'd like to do taliaxin, which is a shaw dish that's also named after a small Swedish bird. I don't know why, but that's, that's on this card for me to read. Um, this is also a dance where we like to invite all of our alumni forward to join us for this dance. Um, and Kirsten Bruce pointed out yesterday that some of you may know this dance as Vastervik. At some point over the last 25 years, the, the name changed from Vastervik Shadish to Taliaxin. They are one and the same, so please join us. And I will donate my fiddle if there's a alumni fiddler. Here we go. I just proved it.